know that I ever get stuck with a loser like you. The minute you feel tired, you drop to the ground like you was dead. That ain't natural in a horse. What do you take me for? You got the idea I'm gonna carry you? There's no more water, the sun's hot, and this ain't no place to lunch. sense of humor. Hang him to the nearest tree you find. <laughs> Looks like they're fresh out. Well, I'll get one if I have to plant it myself. What did he 
do? He stole them horses. Well, whatever he did. I'm not going to let you hang a Christian with a little boy watching you. No, you ask the boy to look. Get out and be quiet. But you're not a sheriff, and if you're not a sheriff, you can't do what you're doing. You better get out. The boy just happens to be speaking the truth. He's not been given a fair trial. You're committing murder as plain as day. I say the lawyer here is right. That old man? You bet. He's one of the best. All right. We'll give you a trial, and we'll hang you after. <laughs> Side's the long side. This here, or up the side. You must be crazy, mister. Or size longer. Hmm. I'll wager that fat turkey of yours. You're on. Hmm. Now first, we'll measure it this way. Good day. 
fit for seven. Hold it. It's obvious we don't need a trial. But we're going to have ourselves a hanging party tonight anyway. Hey, you, I wouldn't do that if I was you. You'll have to come and stop me. <laughs> uh, that spoils the party. Don't worry, darling, here. He won't get far. I wasn't trying to aim at you. I meant to get your attention. Oh, yeah? Well, why didn't you just shoot me? That'd really get me. Uh, are you a man? A man with a heart? Mm. Please. Will you take this? Take it down to the little boy, Chip. The boy's my nephew. And you should tell him that my heart won't hold out. That's all that I'm asking of you. See that the boy gets to Westland, will you? Is there a railroad through Westland? Yeah. Two. Well, now you can. Well, I mean, don't worry for the kid. Smart chip, you hear? You're too young to be playing around with guns. You might have killed me, you know that? What are you trying to do? Gosh, I didn't recognize you. I thought you were one of those men who attacked my uncle. Oh, he's your uncle, huh? Come here. I talked to your uncle. And your uncle said, uh, well, uh, he, he said that he's going on ahead and that uh, I, I should take you with me to Westland. Uncle, Dad. Uh, well, I don't know if he's dead, but look, calm down. There ain't nothing you can do, you hear? He did it to save me, to keep those bandits away from me, and now... Now, 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 stop it with your waterworks, huh? You're coming with me to Weston, like your uncle said, right? 
Nice town, Westland. Two railroads. Rufus. <coughs> Rufus. <coughs> I'll ride on the wagon and you can rest up a little, right? All right. <coughs> running away. You are driving him away from us with that mean temper of yours. Why don't you just try to talk to him quiet and nice instead of always taking your guns out and shooting them off. Oh. All right. All right, now go ahead and sing. Sing all you want. Island ah. is a drifter. He's got no home or family, no room. Something. My uncle wasn't a lawyer. What you trying to say? That you saved my life? It isn't that. They didn't hang you because they're good, right? Mm. And the guy following you is bad, right? Mm. He's following you. Yes, I know he's following you. Why did you say he wasn't? Why is he following you? Listen, Chip. I promised your uncle I'd take you to Westland. Don't break my back asking questions. Here, eat your supper. What's the matter? Where's the fork? What? That's the way, son. Coburn. We're moving. Might I finish my supper of you in a hurry? Yep. Yeah, you are in a hurry. Chip, I can't keep my promise. What's that, a midget? He's the nephew of a lawyer friend of mine. Hold it. front of a child. You might, Mr. Butt. You can't kill a man who isn't armed. It can be done, Chip. <laughs> Don't worry, I ain't gonna kill her right now. First, you gotta marry my sister Mary, you. Uh, you see, I ain't fixing to marry anybody. Let's get on with it. That's just the kind of guy you are, huh? If I kill you right now, my sister Mary would live the rest of her life in shame and disorder. But if I kill you after the wedding, she 
she'll be a respectable widow. I never laid a little finger on your sister. You hear? Oh, that's lousy coffee, and you're a lying skunk. Anyway, people around here think different, and what's true for them is true for me. So first, I reckon I'm Mario. Uh, to her. And then I want to kill you here. Coburn, you can live a hundred years. It's easy. All you do is not get married. <laughs> right. Hey, did you hear what the lawyer's nephew just said? <laughs> Hold this. Look. You know, I don't care if I have to blast off your arms, both of your legs, and the back of your head. But you are going to marry my sister. Hey, take a look at this. Just take a look at, at what I got here. This here's a... Oh, well, this is a marriage license. Now, you and me are going to hunt around for a preacher. Uh, look at that. Yeah, sure. Oh, no. Ah, uh, I uh, know. Here, look. Oh! Hey, Chip. Let's get out of here. You're just going to leave him here? Uh, don't worry. We'll be seeing him. That sainted uncle of yours was so set on you coming here to this cemetery. He said it was the best place for me to make my fortune. You're crazy. This dump won't yield you a wooden nickel. My uncle was never wrong. Anyway, I like it here. Well, glad you're staying then. Yes, sir. As soon as you're settled, I'm going to take the first train out of here. It's an honor to have you here in Westland. May the Lord be with you. To uh, tell you the truth, we come here alone. Welcome to our little humble and peaceful community. Yeah, sure looks quiet. And we do all we can to keep it that way. It's a treat to have new people stop here. Stay in line? Just till something gets settled. Then I'll be on my way. And God's peace be with you. The Lord's grace be upon your head. for a ride. So what? I've been here two weeks now. When the sheriff goes for a ride, you can be sure there's trouble brewing. some dirt. Can't you see? And you still reckon your uncle was never wrong? Never. Hmm. That's the fifty dollars my Aunt Vera gave us when my family left Oldfield. 
Yeah. That's a lot of money for a boy. I better go put this in the bank. You wait for me here. Seeing it's only a deposit. Be quick about it. Whose name is the deposit in? Is the safe strong? Whose name is the deposit in? You know what's written here? It's a deed to a house called Well Digger's Roost. About half a mile out of town. It's a deserted house. It gives exclusive rights to the house and property to Chip Anderson. Right. Chip Anderson? Chip Anderson. I was expecting this. All right, get him up in the air, folks. You gotta know by now. Now, you know you shouldn't be here. How many times have we told you to get out of town? I'm going, but listen, first I've got to liquidate the bank. You leave that to us. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, boys, while I go over to the saloon. I got dust in my throat. All right, let's go. Ain't I seen you someplace before? I look in here. Hard to say with that thing on your face. How much you reckon we got? I don't think I had the pleasure. <laughs> Take it, will you? Hey, look at here. Yeah, give me a hand, Jess. Well, you can get out of my way. There you are. Get this. Come on, Mr. I'm thirsty. Hold it. That's mine. This money's mine. It was yours. Amigo, I don't give a hoot about robbing banks, but that $50 don't belong to the bank. It's mine. Are you looking for trouble, fat boy? I'm not looking for trouble. Put your guns there. Now lock them up. I ain't putting this money in the bank. Ain't safe. Hey, this too.
This started out to be a simple robbery, and you've turned it into a major disaster. You can't do that. Can't be done, amigo. Watch out, Coburn! Stop right there. Shall I put my hands up, or is this okay? It don't matter. It's an informal execution. Ah, go back! Jumping catfish, here she is again. Hey! Get back in the wagon. But I just wanted to say hello to Coburn. Get back in the wagon, I said. Oh, oh, come on, here. Yeah. No. Hey, handsome. Hey. I'm right over here. See you if you're standing over there. I'm gonna find the preacher. Don't worry, sonny. Yeah, come on. This is that famous well, huh? It sure is. Well, Chip, let's get some water. I think, Chip, that your uncle was a little touched in the head. My uncle told me to settle in Weston. I'm settling in Weston to make my money off irrigation. Water, huh? Nothing but stinking black mud. See for yourself. Hey, you two. Get out of here. Out of where? It's private property. I know. He owns it. The owner's dead. So the land reverts to the community. There must be some mistake. This kid is the owner. It's written down right here. Well, see for yourself. Get out. Those are my papers. You can't do that. The boy's absolutely right. Might have read them before you tore them up. He told you to get. Understand? Say, hey, you're handy with those. Do that again. Now clear out. Uh, see that shit? The left, the right, then back. The left, the right, then back. <laughs> Take the gun, shit. Now we throw the rascals out. Get up. Get out. Get. How long have you been my opic? What? My opic, you know, short sighted. Well, I see very well. Then why do you use eyeglasses? They help me to think. 
Will you help me unload my stuff? Well, you know, seeing old Sonny's out of the way, guess I'll make that train tomorrow. Nasty bump. Yeah, Seems like well, you've been by a horse. I would say he was more like a mule. Hmm. Sit over there, will you? I don't want you to watch this. <clears throat> now, no hollering, if you please. If you make a noise, you'll make me nervous. And I can make a mistake. And that'll be the end of your neck. Are you kidding? Nobody can make me holler. Let's go. Ready? Go ahead. <laughs> he stays inside for a week and keep a hot right. collar around his neck at all times. I know how to handle him, Doctor. I'm an expert. Good day. Good day, Doctor. But Big Coburn got away again, and I got to keep following him. I got my old work to do. Oh, don't be silly. He said he was going to look for a preacher. Honest. Sonny, I don't know what's gotten into you. What have you got against him, huh? Mary. Hmm? Would you please go back to your own room? Seduced, abandoned, and she's still an idiot. Poor Coburn. <laughs> Girls! Uh, here we are. Hi, oh, Sunny Baby. How do you, you feel any better? Let me hold you. And what did the doctor say? All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. Now go and find a piano player. I want you all to get down to work right away and bring me all your money every morning. Oh, yeah? do. She always do. And when will you be getting out? And one more thing. I want to know where Coburn is to find out. Probably he skedaddled by now. Well, I want to know where he's gone to. Now get out of here, all of you. All of you. Go ahead. All of you. Go ahead. Wow, we are strong. <laughs> but who's stronger, you or a buffalo? Ever see a buffalo? No, but I got a feeling that you are stronger. Seeing you feel so sure. <laughs> you know something? I thought she was pretty nice. I engage to nobody. Then why is she so stuck on you? Don't start with all that why business, eh, Chip? Sorry, Coburn. How are you this nice, fine morning? Mm. The Lord bless you and keep you. Good, honest work, eh? May God grant you the health to keep it up. Ain't you sheriff around here? The fact is, we've been recently deprived of our pastor Fisher. Grant him eternal rest. And those that were his sheep begged to become mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have any sheep in this place. <laughs> well, I wanted to act as a pastor today, bearing gifts. Here. It's for you, for me. Yes. And candy to the boy. Big, bright jawbreaker. No. Hmm. Let me put this... Simply and plainly, because simply and plainly, are you paying attention, brother? Oh, yeah, excuse me, Reverend Sheriff. Yes, simply and plainly is the best way, as I don't know that Westland is quite the perfect town for little children. Yes, you're right. We already ran into some bank robbers. How's that? Uh, I heard another story. I heard there was a brawl in the bank, started by you. No, no, it's not true. I... One thousand dollars is the price we set. To buy up the debris, as I can hardly call it a home, can I? For the child, may I suggest, 
Does he go? And be with other good boys in another place. Didn't you hear what the Reverend Sheriff said? He wants to buy this house. He'll give you candy, too. I don't like candy. I don't like it. And why does he want it? He's offering us a thousand dollars, and this house isn't worth fifty. If he's offering a thousand dollars, it's worth more. My uncle was never wrong. We could take the thousand dollars, and we'll stay here anyway. That's dishonest, Colburn. Selling. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Coburn, for your sake. As I came here hoping I might be able to perform an act of charity. You don't want it, apparently. As for the future, may God help you. I feel that maybe you might need him. No, Chip. We gotta find out what's behind all this. You were the man divine providence had sent us. But I see I was wrong. Oh, no, you ain't mistaken. The preacher is just the man I was looking for. Son, I came up here today hoping you might be able to help me. But I'm afraid that in your condition, you're not capable of performing the small favor I wanted to ask. Really? Now, what small favors do you have in mind? The ways of the Lord God are infinite. Infinite. Amen, brother. Thank you. An exchange of favors. I am going to let you and your pretty ladies perform here in the limits of decency. And you may rid my town of a bad influence. His name is Coburn. Do you have to keep up this noise all the time, for God's sake? The minute I get off to sleep, you start shooting those darn guns again. Oh, God, not again. A preacher. Coburn sent you, right? Hmm. You might say that. You hear that? Yeah. I knew Coburn was telling the Look, truth. Look, why don't you go back to bed and sleep, darling? I'll, uh, talk to the pastor here. After all, I am the head of the family, right, Reverend? Oh, yes, surely, surely. The Almighty will show us the way for you. You may sleep, but my I dear. To... Mary, go to lie down, though. Go ahead. I must say, this is very puzzling. I think I missed the point. No. Well, maybe it's better that way. Look. I won't need this. And I'll take care of Coburn for you. But you got to marry her for me. Please. <laughs> I'll be delighted. Who's the husband to be of this charming lady? Coburn. And as soon as you've got them married, I'll shoot him for you. No charge at all. Son, you'll be marching in. The saints will praise the day. Amen, brother. Amen. Now then, when's the wind? Well, we're going to have to wait a, a little while yet, but only for a day or two. Now, I don't want a thing to happen to Cougar at the moment. And they mustn't be allowed to leave town. <laughs> Look at the wagon. 
dear, Cobra? Look at that. <laughs> Citizens of Weston, keep your mouths closed, open your ears, and you'll hear the most amazing money-making offer of all your born days. Two dollars for a bucket of dirt. That's right. Two honest to God greenbacks for one bucket of dirt. Read it, folks. It's written down. Two dollars. It's ridiculous, but it's true. Two U.S. government dollars for a bucket of earth. It's the offer of a lifetime. Hey, That's sir. What I said two dollars. Can't you keep away from that stuff? No, sir. Ain't it kind of hard on the digestion? Why should it be? Two dollars. Two dollars a bucket. That's my offer, folks. And you get to keep the bucket. All I want is dirt, friends. And I know you got plenty. So bring it to me in the saloon. Don't cry, Sonny. You two can be the lucky winner. Come on, come on. Young and old. If you can have a shovel and carry a bucket, two bona fide U.S. dollars are yours. You look That's like you're worried. Dirt. Why? What's dirt. the matter? Yes, sir, it's a fact. Two whole dollars. There's a tie-up between the dirt that fool there is buying and the sheriff's knack for running folks out of town. Better get busy around this burg and ask some questions. and everybody got to hear about it anyway. Well, Sonny says it's a scandal, and, well, it's got to be put right. Well, he must be as crazy as a hoot owl. No, Coburn, you're wrong. Mary was a... Well, you know. And her brother's got to defend her, right? I guess you were as crazy as he is. Come on, girls. Now you gonna buy me that drink, Baldy? Whiskey. Stuff's homemade. For the water of the premises. You betcha. I don't want it. Hey, friend. Any girls around here? In town, you mean? Huh. Yeah, but they don't normally come in the saloon. I know, I know, but I mean uh, women. Sure, over there. No, those girls that do just a little business, you know, around town. How's that again? Chip, why don't you go dig a bucket of dirt and maybe that old nut will give you a couple of dollars for it. I get what you mean. What do you want? Huh. I'd like to come in and talk with you. <laughs> That's what they all say. It's the truth. I need, well, some, some information. You don't have nothing to be scared about. Uh, I'll just sit down here. Uh, it's better here, I think. Uh, much better. <laughs> Information, I think it was, you said. Uh, well, I'm 
new here in town, and, uh, well, I, I could use a bit of filling in. You probably know the right people here real good. You made friends here. Uh, I mean, I think that, uh, well, you must know about every man in town by now. If there's anything uh, I can do for you, Well, someone in this dried up water hole keeps trying to run people out of town. Oh, brother, you're telling me. What are you talking about? Franciscus. He's the judge, the preacher, and sheriff. Franciscus is judge here, too? Yeah, since the old judge died. Poor McLaren. He was. A pretty good friend of mine. God rest his bones. Then there's something here in Westland that has a pretty special interest for Brother Franciscus. Uh, hey, when you get talking here with uh, your friends, you know, don't they ever discuss business? Never. But, uh, that don't stop me from getting an idea occasionally. Come on, tell me. Gold. What else could it be? Of course. It must be gold. They're looking for the vein, the deposits. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mrs. Uh... Warren. <laughs> oh, Warren. You are nice, you are. Pretty also, yeah. Well, thank you for everything. Wait, big boy. Yeah. and see a man pushing a kid around. Oh, can't you? Well, let's get started on someone that's grown up. <laughs> well? I 
I remember you. <laughs> Jim. Please excuse him, Mr. Copeland. Jim is part Irish and part Indian, so he's apt to get a night nice nervous. Pray the Lord to help you keep your temper from now on. You can breathe easier, Copeland. Nobody will bother you, not while I'm still mayor. Come on, Chip. Oh, yes, the little boy. Don't worry, he'll be protected. He's bright. We could use more lads like him. Fine boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's my horse gone to? Who took him? They were your men. I saw them here before. Did you? You're not only bright, but you got sharp eyes. Were they your men? Uh, yes, they were. I must say, there was no harm intended. We want you both to stay. You mean it. First, you want to chase me out of here, and now... It's nothing serious. Just to settle that business at the bank. And don't forget what happened just now. Because you could get put in jail for this. Mm. But I know what type of person you are. And you're not about to try anything like skip and tell. Ain't it a fact? <laughs> How are you gonna make it without a horse? There's no trouble about that. There's a railroad. There should be two, right? According to your uncle. Oh, yeah, sure. Don't worry, Chip. They won't lay a finger on you. We got the sheriff on our side. Oh, I'm sure you'll be all right. Didn't you notice the change that's come over the sheriff? I know you've got to go. That brother-in-law of yours is going to get better sooner or later. Brother-in-law, huh? Watch what you say. Sorry, Coburn. Come on now. Here you are, eat. Well, you'll be 
you going? As far as I can get from here. 12,500 miles. That isn't far. Why ain't it far? This is the Earth, okay? Do you know that the Earth is round? No. Well, we're here. The farthest place you can get is here. Huh? As soon as you take another step, you start coming back. Then there's Mary. You like her, don't you? Of course I like her. Why don't you marry her? Oh, it's one thing just to like a girl, but another thing to marry him. Explain. Oh, shut up, won't you? If I shut up, how can I finish my dinner? Blah, 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 blah. Go make a bet. Man to man. If you win, you get to talk all you want. If I win, you don't get to open your mouth again before tomorrow morning, you hear? All right, Coburn. You were just drawing me circles, hmm? Now, Chip, which is longer, this or around here? Wow, well, that's easy. Anybody knows that the longest is the perimeter of the base. Hmm. Very what? Ah, uh, well, talk all you want. No matter, I won't bother you, because I'm going to bed. Good night, Coburn. Everybody's a sheriff here. Here, Rufus. Yeah. Uh, thanks for bringing me back my horse. Hey, what do you want? Tied up. Restrain my enthusiasm. That's no way to get married. What made you? You were the one to tell him, and you tied him up. I saw you. We're in church, my boy. We don't talk. Well, this morning you're both convened here to be united in rightful wedlock. Mary Bronson and uh, Coburn. Coburn. Hmm. Your first name? I got the contract right here, Reverend. Ah, you brought it with you. That makes everything legal. Uh, now then, ah, the Lord shows us the true way. Now, do you, Mary Bronson, take for your lawful husband, Hiram Coburn, here present? Yes, yes, oh, yes. My dear, I'm most happy to hear it. <laughs> and uh, you, Hiram Coburn, take...
take for your lawful wife, Mary Bronson? Here, present. Hmm? Well, yes. You see? It's painless. Well, as County Justice of the Peace, I pronounce you man and wife. Good. Now, dearly beloved, let us proceed to the religious service. Forget it. Forget it. It's okay, just as it is. What? Have you gone completely out of your mind? I want to be married by the preacher. And I said that's enough. I'm dying. For the Lord's sake, Sonny, don't go on like that. He's my husband now, isn't he? Sonny, I beg you. Will you stop all that hate and bitterness, please? Get back to your room. <laughs> Let's take a walk. Outside. What do I do with this? <sighs> Sorry about your wind, man. Sorry about mine. Good luck, Chip. Just a minute. What do you want? You can't kill him now. I can't? No, you can't. Coburn isn't only your sister's husband. He's the father of your nephew. Nephew? <laughs> what nephew? She's expecting a baby. <coughs> Is that true, Mary? He's right. Now, hold on. Yes? I guess you've forgotten we made a deal. I made it, I thought, with a gentleman. You're right. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson so that you will never forget your brother-in-law. cigar. All the same to me. Oh, follow me then. 
disappeared. Yeah. But there's the mule. I'll go on that. Anything. Sit down and have something to eat before you go. Chip told me you hadn't had anything since the other night. I'm not hungry. Why are you eating then? Because I'm nervous. Is that any way to eat your dinner? Will you please sit down and eat like a proper and civilized person? married woman now. Nobody can say those awful things about you anymore. So will you just let me eat the way I want to? Like a hog? Yeah, like a hog. Because it's the way I like eating. Understand? We're only just married. And there's no way to talk to your wife. <laughs> I never want to set eyes on you again. I didn't promise to do that. <laughs> hey, you. Why didn't you kill me? Because I want to see you suffer. But don't worry, I'll kill you. As soon as he's 21. Who? The kid. What kid? <laughs> You're the father. Yeah, Uncle Sonny. Excuse me. I don't eat with hogs. Chip Anderson, well diggers roost. Hmm. Ah! Ah, 
catch it! I found it. Yeah. Oh. Chip Anderson, well diggers roost. <laughs> I found it at last. <laughs> Oh, Hey, Chip, open up. Ah, there you are, young fella. Hi. What do you want? Hey, good morning to you, my boy. May I? May I come in? What do you want? Some more dirt? Oh, no. I mean, yes. Me in a way, well, I suppose I do. Well, may I? Come in. <laughs> you see, I thought I might stay. Here. Yep. And settle down in Westland. <laughs> and so... I took a look around, and I saw this nice little house of yours. <laughs> hey, you are the owner of this place here, aren't you? I sure am. Ah, that's mighty fine. <laughs> I like this house. I really do. It's light and airy, and there's no noise. And a fine little garden. <laughs> I'm an old man now. And I'd like a bit of peace and quiet to end my days. <laughs> you know what I mean, son? You won't buy it? Uh, hey, good morning. Is he a relative of yours? No, my partner. Uh, glad to know you. <laughs> I was just saying, <laughs> as to how I'd like to, to buy this house. Yeah. Well, I could make you hmm, an offer of, uh, hmm, well, I don't know, uh, let's say, uh, well, uh, $5,000. <coughs> What'd you say? $5,000? What are you looking for? Nothing, nothing. Just peace and quiet. Nothing more. Like I told the boy. <laughs> you know, your uncle was right. Your fortune is here in Westland. He said $5,000, huh? I heard we're not selling. He heard you, but he's not selling. Well... Well, now, let's see, if I was really pressed, and uh, as a great sacrifice, uh -huh. I, uh, I'll give you one final offer. Uh -huh. $10,000. Oh! 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 Now we can go on with the ceremony. Bless this fine new boy, this fledgling arrival to our flourishing parish. Whoa now, whoa. What name shall we baptize the baby with? John. John. No, Alfred. No, John. Alfred, no. I might be able to accommodate both of you. Now I would say, John Alfred. I hereby baptize this boy with the name of... Uh, Mold found what he wanted. I'm sorry I have to go. But, Pastor... Emily, let me have Alfred. Where's Big Jim? In the Please saloon. John. Alfred, and we're going home. Jim! Jim!
wanted to give us $10,000. Yeah, he wanted to, Chip. There's no gold. What are they looking for around here? I'm looking for you. Oh, it's you again. Well, what do you want? If you're a man, defend yourself. Come on. If you can't remember the last time, I can help you out. Pick up the gun. I'll count to ten. that too bad. Five. Well, I've seen I'm back in business again. One hundred dollars? Six. How much? Two hundred? Uh, seven. One third of Well Digger's Roost. One third? You're a crook. Eight. Nine. Stop the count. You keep your big nose out of this. Now, look, I ain't got a big nose. I got a little one, but I'm sticking it in anyway. Now, you get out of here, I'm gonna drill you an extra buttonhole here. I got plenty of buttonholes. Now, get out of here, Rod. Thank you, brother. You're welcome, partner. And you too, you little midget. <laughs> Can't a body have a bit of peace around here for a single minute? Get inside and wash up for lunch. You too, Chip. You go tiring yourself. You gotta think of the baby. Oh, yeah, I do. Come on. Hmm. Hey. 
<laughs> Come on. Hey, Chip. Go on, dance. One day you're going to find yourself ruined for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, don't take any notice of what Coburn tells you. He's as grumbly, grouchy, and crotchety as an old bear. So all in all, I think you'll make a good husband. The only trouble will be when he finds out I'm not the family way. <laughs> Sooner or later, women get children, don't they? Yes, Chip. You're right. I will be. <laughs> Look at your brother. Sonny, why are you cleaning your gun? Here at my party. What do you need them for, anyway? Well, you never can tell. I don't want to end up like... like Cooper. Children inside. Go ahead and shoot the two of them. Don't stand there gaping. Shoot. Why can't you hit him, for God's sake? Shoot him! Shoot him, I tell you! Shoot him! Hit that side of our fire! Shoot him!
Babe, look at your well. Oh, boy, look at that stuff. Look yeah. at that. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Are. You're millionaires now. And you finally caught on, huh? That's oil. What's oil? There's another word for that. Yeah, yeah but what a beautiful word for a... Yeah. What the devil is all this spill? It must be your doing, Coburn. Can't you just brawl like other men? No. You have to go and get yourself messed up and make a hog of yourself. Just look at that spill. Hello, you all. It's all coming from me, Yeah, Lady I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, now Sonny's girls on top of everything. Hey. Where you going? Now that you're married to my sister, I'm gonna have some fun. And then seeing that from now on, you're gonna be wishing you were dead. I ain't gonna kill you anymore. Sonny, let's go. You can't go. Stop him, somebody. Lovely. Why, oh, why did I have to have a brother like that? Take care of my one third here. We don't want to Are you coming or not, Sonny? Sonny will be late. The moment my back is turned, you start making trouble. It's a complete disaster. My party's ruined. Ruined. Well, don't just stand there, you fool. Can't you put a plug in that darn well? Can't you? Uh, oh, my heart's honey. Hold on, wait a minute. It's a decoration. How could you? <laughs> I must say, you beat me at my own game. But let me make a suggestion. We join forces and work together. All right? Hey, you're right in the back. <laughs> no! And you ruined the party all by yourself! You got everything messed up! That's all you care about me. That's all I mean to you. You fool! You won't! Hot stuff! Come on, let's get this one for me! Bye, Bye. What you wanted, wasn't it? Ruining my housewoman party. You're off. You dirty, no good skunk. That's all you are. A monster. That's what you are. A heartless monster. Mm. She wasn't expecting a baby. But there's no baby. We lied to you. Can't do that. This situation, I sure can. Yeah. Can do, amigo. Exactly. 